Well, hello. Welcome back to The Walking Track. Uh, I want to say hello to my first time guest. If you're new to this podcast, hello, hello, hello. Hey, guys, uh, what I want you to understand, The Walking Track is the place where great thinkers go to be inspired and motivated. So when you hear that term, welcome back to The Walking Track, you know that I consider you a great thinker and I consider you someone that's going to walk with me and have a conversation. So our conversation today is going to be about impatience. Impatience. So I know that some of us uh, that's transitioning from uh, wanting to start over want to get from zero to 700 today right now i know if we can uh replenish everything we lost uh and uh, uh, a lickety split it would be great on our behalf but impatience uh causes us to lose a lot of things this is one of the biggest battles that we face. We face uh, this battle uh, unprotected and unarmed. Uh, The battle with impatience have left many people broke down on the side of the road. What are you talking about broke down on the side? You you know that feeling, that feeling that you have when you are saying, why me? Why now? And you're standing, feeling stranded. That's what impatience have us doing. You know why? Because it places us in the wrong place at the wrong time. We're running, trying to get to the next level or trying to get too much too fast. And when you give too much too fast to someone who don't respect the processes to get there you don't respect where you at in the moment let me say this one more time you if you get too much too fast you won't respect the process that causes you to get to where you at so in return we have to become comfortable in the moments that we're in and respect the moments that we're in because the moments we're in places us in the right place at the right time when we're on the road to starting over patience is a weapon that we use against other things impatience is a tool that is used against us so here's how and because i I want us to really grab hold to what i'm what i'm saying doing this walk now uh this might be a hard conversation for some of us because some of us are chronic late people we we practice being late and and some of us are uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. And and we don't respect time. But when you don't respect time, you, you don't value the environment or the stages or the steps that's provided. Uh, because at each step and each stage, there is something we're supposed to learn. And when I started my life over, I started my life over saying that I really wanted to to not just get back what I lost, but I was trying to go to another level. Quick story. Most of the promotions that I have acquired was they found me working. They found me working. I, I wasn't seeking to move up. I didn't ask to move up. So... And I was present in the moment and doing my best at the level that I was at. And 
in that environment, it produced an invitation to the next level. So our, our, my, my advice to you is there is going to be a door or an invite to the next level. And that door and that invite will lead you to um, uh, being in the right place at the right time. So rushing and trying to get more than what you are capable of handling on the level that that you're on only puts you in a bad situation that ultimately will have you broke down on the side of the road saying, why me? Why now? Guys, I love our conversation during our walking time I want you to keep on walking and I'll see you next time